Shorely, the team that beat Florida 3-2 in the qualifiers and beat them 3-0 on day one of the knockouts, will beat them a third time, guys. Surely, why wouldn't they? I mean, they have Kevster summoning the processing power of 67 years of artificial intelligence and playing out of his goddamn mind on Tracer or Sojourn. Dante ripping them to pieces on Ramatra and having a solid enough Winston to get the job done. Funny Astro doing all you could ask of your Lucio and then some. And finally, a well-respected coaching staff that excels particularly well in a wide open meta like the one we have right now. So where does the blame lie that they lost not one, but two advancement matches and are not going to participate in the mid-season madness? Looking towards the players, Kai had terrible luck against Boston. Two kills on an entire map of Hollywood is unacceptable and far below Vegas odds. As we all know, 99% of gamblers quit before they make it big, and Kai was on the bench for losers finals. You can point to Lastro because he didn't stand out too much in these knockouts, but other than that, the players played as expected. However, if you look towards the coaching staff, you will find they were on that California Zaza. They had terrible travel plans for map picks with some awful compositional choices. On day one, everything was going according to plan. Florida was making crucial errors, Kevster was having his way with that shitty state, and the gladiators looked strong. Now, I don't know if they got overconfident or something like that, but against Boston, things were different. Sitting last row while playing anything that isn't Kiriko Lucio is an indefensible decision, and there are absolutely zero circumstances for this team to choose to go to Hollywood against Smurf and the Boston Uprising. Maybe the Jidset Mafia still have some stock in the Uprising and came to face late at night with an offer that he just couldn't refuse. I understand that Hybrid might be a tough map type for the Gladiators, but to choose the best Winston map is just insane. You can go to Blizzard World and force Kalios in. You can go to King's Row and force some Ramatra for a few points. I do not care. Just not Hollywood. That's the only wrong choice. The very next day, they even picked Blizzard World. So what changed? Did they remember they don't want Dante to take a monkey mirror against some of the best Winstons to ever do it? Or were they just that scared of Kalios yesterday? I don't get it. I just don't get it. Now, to be fair, their Blizzard world was god awful, and it is beyond me how any team or player could spam on a Zen on second point offense like that and not question it. So was Lastro just chill with dying on cooldown every single rotation? Was he not like, boys, I can go Brig, I can go Lucio, I can do anything. Did he even want it? Did he want this win? I don't get it. Where's the where's the passion? Where's the passion? And even though they did eventually try to come back from their tragic beginning, they could not translate that momentum into anything at all on map five. They just got ran over by the Moira comp they previously beat down for the second time that day. I just wish this team was something more than either a pretty good Ramatra comp or a Winston comp that gets carried by Kevster on Tracer. Maybe a Dante Doomfist with Anakiri could have been cool as we've seen stuff like that from Houston, Florida, and some other teams sporadically. I don't know. I just know this team was missing something. Regardless, congratulations LA Gladiators. You managed to have the fourth spot ripped out of your hands in the twilight weeks before the midseason madness and lost not one, but two advancement matches, which is very impressive.